Hey friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing wonderful. In this video, I'm going to explain the concept called multi-catch block. This is relevant to the try catch and entry process or the block. So uh, there is a, there could be a scenario where a single statement may generate two different exceptions. If that is the case, we have to capture the same in the same try catch block. Okay, so um, the possible scenario would be okay this is the block try catch and end try and this is the scenario if it is arithmetic overflow and divided by zero suppose there is a statement where uh, the data calculations are involved multiplication and division and there is a possibility of an exception called divided by zero exception and there is a possibility for arithmetic overflow exceptions okay for a single statement so how to capture this and this option is available from SAP Native 7.5 SP00. Okay. So this is an example. I have a statement where the data calculations are happening. There is a chance of divided by zero and there is a chance of arithmetic overflow. Exception can be triggered for the single statement. It's coming under one try and try block. So this is a way where you can able to add multiple catch option that's called we call multiple catch block can be added depends on your uh, business need okay so this is a way you're able to capture it so let let's go to the system and have a right statement and see changing the value which one is triggers first which one is capturing based on the requirement okay mm, yeah that's it so this is my system and let me have some variables declared b type i value 2 c type i value 0 okay and try catch so try if a equal to b divided by c then catch cx sy divided by 0 so instead of um, write you can use message as well Divide zero issue type i. If not, I want one more as catch cx sy arithmetic overflow. Okay, and here also you can have a message arithmetic. That's it, pretty printer. So now it's going to be this one, or maybe I can say B into 2 divided by C. Okay, activated. So expecting the first exception to be captured here is yes, device 0 issue is coming. So now I'm going to change this as 1 and B into some here activate and execute so here it is comes arithmetic overflow issue so one particular statement you can have two different uh, exceptions so if you see if it is zero what will happen so expecting the divide zero issue comes and not the second one because once the exception is captured it won't go to the next uh, statement so it's not like even though the statement has two uh, exceptions can be triggered one is for zero one is for arithmetic flow it won't happen because once the exception is triggered that's it so this is a way you can have multiple uh, catch block or they call it as multi catch block so you can have uh, different um, more than uh, two exceptions also to be captured okay so and but this is the problem is it will be available from a version 7.5 sp00 just try this and um, make use of it if you come across anywhere that there could be a two uh, more than one exception has to be captured okay for a same statement just go through it and uh, if you have any doubt please let me know thank you so much for your time see you in the next video bye